Hey everyone, my name is Jen and today's video is about Instacart and the rating system for its shoppers. Um, I'm making this video because I started Instacart during the, the, the in, I started Instacart during COVID, maybe the end of March and I've been going strong ever since. Um, I consider it a full-time side hustle. I'm really having fun with it. Um, I'm getting the hang of it. I've been getting the hang of it. It takes time a little bit to understand the layout of your stores and, you know, to figure out the hustle, but I figured it out and having a great time and I'm appreciative of the extra income and the opportunity. So thank you, Instacart, for providing this um, gig platform for a way to, for a way to make, for people to make extra money because the money is significant. Um, when I first started, um, again, people were very afraid to go to the grocery stores. They still are in a lot of areas. Uh, my area, you can see it's kind of loosening up a little bit. I'm in Western Massachusetts and our COVID right now is under control. Um, we're kind of st staying steady. So there's not really an influx in new cases, which is good. So we're blessed. Um, however, in other states, it's a different situation. But today I woke up this morning and if you guys are already Instacarting, especially the veterans out there, you know, I kind of get excited every morning when I wake up and I go through all my social media, whatever I have to do. And then I check my Instacart app. And for the first time today, I received less than a five star rating. In fact, I'm going to pull it up real quick. And this is why I'm making this video um, because it's really frustrating. Um, when we all first started, they forgave any bad rating that, um, that maybe a customer would have given. But um, since COVID has lessened up and, and people are out shopping for themselves, they, they are now back to the original rating system, which I was never a part of in the beginning. So I started Instacart when all the ratings were, were being forgiven no matter what, which I don't really necessarily think is, is, a good, is, is smart because customer service is everything in everything that anyone ever does. And I'm, a, and I'm a firm believer that if a customer tells you to jump, you jump even higher than they ask you. So um, I pride myself on great customer service and communication, all of the, I'm sure you guys too, do too. But anyway, I woke up today and my rating went from a five star, yikes, to five star to a 4.99. And it states here, your rating is below average. Review customer feedback to improve. So I went to my feedback and all of my feedback is showing nothing but five star and positive. I know you can't see this, but you have to trust me. Oh, you can't see it. But I promise you it's five star, positive, positive, positive. Everything was positive. So then I went to, if you dig further on your customer feedback, I went to um, quality of items and that's the only thing that will show you an issue with the order um, it says here one item was damaged so I'm assuming that's maybe why I got a four star even though I don't know and the issue is um, some of the grapes the red grapes were damaged I bought these grapes and I, I know the date so I know the grapes this customers talking about, but I just, I'm sharing this. So maybe when you go to Costco, you can do better looking at the grapes, but anyway, bought these grapes. And as you know, if you've ever shopped at Costco, the grapes are sold in a plastic container sealed with the, with the little snappy locks in it. So I'm always careful when I buy produce, I always look at it and everything. So I grabbed the grapes, looked at the top layer, Everything looked great. What I didn't do though was open the container of grapes. And I wasn't gonna take my hands and put them in the grapes and dig through the four, the, the four or three layers of grapes that there were. So I'm a little bit frustrated because I do feel like that's out of my control. However, I'm taking full responsibility. I got a five star, I, I had five star forever, but there were some damaged grapes in the plastic Costco tin. Or container and that's why I was dinged and um, I'm a little disappointed with Instacart I appreciate everything they've done with my income I mean it's 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 a great gig however they state if you get a bad rating 
the customer has to state why, and they didn't. And, the, and they said, look in the comments, and there were no comments. I'm frustrated by that. Secondly, my rating went from a 5 to a 4.99, and I'm below average. I get it. Five stars, perfect. However, there's, I'm just, where's the wiggle room here? Um, I don't know. So here's the biggest frustration. Every morning that I've been waking up with the five star, I've been seeing pretty great batches, 40, 50, 60s in the morning, every single morning since the end of March. This morning, I 4.99. And why I'm sharing this is I'm just asking you guys to be careful if you're new with this especially because I took for granted, oh my gosh, all the ratings were forgiven. We tend to like hurry up in the stores um, because that's important too for, for Instacart. I mean, they, they tell you to be fast and efficient. Um, so my seconds are, are, are pretty low. I'm down to a 69 second shopping average, which I think is pretty great. So anyway, looking at the big picture, I have been doing a stellar job. I take pride in what I do. I'm talking to the customers the whole time. I show them every single thing. Um, my gosh, I have flat out conversations, full out conversations with most customers. Yes, there are some customers that don't respond, but that's okay. And I still get a 4.99. And as a result of that, my batches this morning were crap. They were just ridiculous. So I woke up. I was I, I was hoping a 4.99 would still allow me to see the good batches. I've been warned of this. Um, and it's true. So if you have anything under a five star, your batches will diminish. And now I have to, to get that four star off for the grapes that were, there were some smush grapes in the Costco container. I'm going to have to shop 100 more batches at a complete five star to see the good batches again. Um, so the batches this morning were like $19, two batches, driving eight miles. Nope, not doing it because my time is of huge value. I'm an asset, I'm a giver, I'm a customer service specialist. Not doing that. You have to make sure that what you work is worth your time. However, a couple later popped up for 24 and maybe I thought I saw one for 22. So I did do a couple batches today, but they weren't near the amount that they have been. So, I'm just trying to help you guys out um, to tell you that this really does happen now that your, your ratings are being counted. One four-star rating will drop you down to 4.99. So I'm at a 4.99. And even if I shop 50 more five-star batches, that 4.99 is going to stay there until I shop 100. That's crazy to me. Where, where's the wiggle room? I mean, I'm sorry. I'm going to toot my own horn for a minute. I see some of these shoppers in these grocery stores. Not cool. They don't look professional. They are throwing their crap in the baskets. It's just not okay. No one said life is fair, though. But I'm just telling you right now, watch your ratings as much as you can. I never thought I needed to actually open plastic containers of the grapes and take the bunches out to make sure there's not six crushed grapes. Never thought to do that. But I guess now to preserve at least my 4.99 and try to get that up, I'm going to have to even go further with damage control. But you guys know, especially the ones who have been, who have been Instacarting forever, you can do everything right and right and right and right, but a customer can still ding you because they're angry that maybe there wasn't Doritos in the nacho cheese flavor. Maybe it was ranch and, and they, they could give you a four star because the store was out of it. Again, if Instacart ever would watch this video, I, I would want them to know. Um, I completely wholeheartedly believe that customer service is critical and dire to the success of anybody's business. And I'm not arguing that at all. However, there should be a little bit of a window or a sliding scale where Maybe a 4.98 to a 5 would still allow you to see these good batches because what will happen is the stellar people that are shopping will go shop some, someplace else or they'll start their own businesses. Um, so Instacart needs to keep their employees happy as well. Things happen that are out of our control. Um, maybe this, though, was in my control. The grapes, I probably should have scrutinized them more, but I didn't, and I learned from that. So I take full ownership. 
full responsibility. I'm just sharing with you. So maybe you don't make the same mistake I did. One four star will go take you down from a five to a 4.99 and they told me I'm below average. I'm nothing below average, folks. And I'm sorry if I sound catty. I'm just really ticked off right now. My ego's a little hurt. My pride's a little hurt. But what doesn't kill you will make you stronger. And in the big scheme of things, this is nothing. In order to make my daily goal, I'm just going to have to do several smaller batches and maybe drive further than I wanted to. But I will do it. And I will get that four star back up to five. But in the meantime, I do hope more people might reach out to Instacart and say, hey, this is what's happening. Um, you know, there should be some type of a ratings scale. I mean, a one four star and a below average. That, that doesn't make sense to me because I'm not. I'm not. I know what an employee I am. I provide the best service with every single person I can. My comments and my prior ratings state that. I've even had people on my comments say, I wish we could request you specifically over and over again. But I'm being punished because I got one ding, one ding, which took me from a five to a four. So I'm ranting because it feels good to rant. But anyway, I hope to make more videos regarding Instacart because I do love it. I'm a little frustrated by this. Um, I just, again, hope Instacart will take notice and fix the shopper rating system. My goodness, please. Because those that are continually have bad ratings, they deserve the bad ratings. Um, and they will weed themselves out and they will reveal their ugly heads. But those of us who are going above and beyond every single day for our customers, something's not right. This doesn't make sense because, again, I'm not below average. It really irritated me. And it really irritated me that the batches are, they're giving me chump. But whatever. There's tons of gigs out there we can do. So I'm not griping because I'm still going to do Instacart, but I'm just sharing with you when you're looking at produce and when you're looking at the grapes, um, this was at Costco in the, in the big plastic tub. But even if you're at your regular grocery store, make sure your grapes aren't smushed. Like make sure like even the ones that are on the bottom that fall off the vine, make sure those aren't smushed either. Whatever, anyway, it's still a great day. I'm gonna go out and see if I can do a batch. If you're like me, you're probably doing this all day. I'm excited, we're healthy. We're able to do this. It's a lot of fun, but I'm just hope you learn from me and don't get discouraged. Um, we're all in this together, but it's gonna happen. One day you're gonna wake up and see that 4.99 and go, oh my gosh, because that's what I did. I reacted like that. My husband was like, what happened? I'm like, oh my gosh, I got a one, one four star rating. And um, I wouldn't have made this video, but it did my batches I was punished today for that rating. So I will be back again. You guys stay healthy, keep shopping, provide great service, smile, be an asset, make someone's day. And I'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching. Bye guys.